be ambitious for higher gifts. And I am going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels, but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a cymbal crashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness to move mountains, but without love, then I have nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and even if I let them take my body to burn it, but I am without love, it will do me no good, whatever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. This is the word of the Lord. Oh, oh I know you're up to it. Don't cry. Today, as you exchange your vows, we ask everyone here to pray with you and for you, that your married lives will be fulfilled, that the lives that you share will grow and develop. Are you resolved to take Emma to be your wife, to love her, comfort her, honor her, and to protect her, and forsake you all others to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I am. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Andrew Paul McGill, do take thee, Emma Victoria McRoberts, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before his church, and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. Emma. Take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. If for kiss, you know. All that remains for me is to wish the new Mr. and Mrs. McGill. I felt so proud today walking you down the aisle, knowing you are starting another chapter of your life. This guy, a strong and decent chap. I know that he'd been a great couple for so many years, but today, when you both took your vows, you are complete. Emma, from the day you could walk and talk, you'll be organising our lives. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Nothing makes me happier than seeing you happy. We wanted to begin by admiring how unbelievably gorgeous Andrew looks today. <laughs> and of course, Emma, you've scrubbed up all right yourself. The men in our life, especially our dad, has set the bar high for what love truly is. And Andrew, we can see that your love for Emma exceeds this. It is so amazing to have someone so close to you find the person that makes them the happiest. And Andrew, I've never seen Emma happier or as sure as something as much as she is with you. So thank you, Andrew, for loving Emma unconditionally, making her laugh uncontrollably and allowing her to be herself. We would say welcome to the family, but you've never not been a part of it. 
Today, as we celebrate love, it's a reminder of how beautiful life is. It's such an honor to be here today and watch you both start your married life together. A few months ago, I was actually talking with Andrew and he was like, I don't really want you to speak at my wedding, but you're the only brother I have. So uh, here we are. I don't think we ever really fought that much as kids. We shared the same interests, loved a bit of friendly competition and had a similar sense of humour. But I think the main reason for that is the fact you've been about a foot taller than me since primary school. And I've looked up you ever since. In fact, I think I must be the only older brother who gets hand-me-ups. So if nothing else, at least I get another nice suit in a couple of years' time after this. And now he has Emma, who not only embraces the crazy, but has helped to mould him into a loving, kind and conscientious husband. I'm so glad that I get to be part of the day where you finally get to marry not only the love of your life, but also your best friend. Keep making each other laugh, continue to love each other every day, and just keep doing what you have been doing up until now, and you'll have the most fantastic, fun-filled lives together. So I just want to reflect on the past 12 years with this wonderful person. She has changed my life for the better, but as cliche as it is, I can't thank her enough for it. I could list a hundred reasons why I love her, but a couple of my personal favourites is knowing that she rubs her feet together in bed like a little grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> but also the fact that you can't sing her a song without her wanting to finish it. And I think those true bits of love are what you know when you first live together and become one. But yes, in that second hand do, we were asked to describe Emma in a single word. I could have went for beautiful or loving, like a lot of people had suggested there. But in fact, I went for infectious. Sounds bad on the top, but actually no. For that is because the way she brightens rooms when she walks in and people naturally gravitate towards her. And that's one of the biggest traits I love about her. So without further ado, I want to raise a toast to my beautiful wife, to Emma. What we long to have is the essence of true and real love. Be able to accept each other for who and what we are. Not to want each other to be any different. But to be able to grow together. To love together. To share together. To rejoice and laugh together. And on occasions to cry together. To be able to recognize that the journey that they embark upon has its foundation stones in their lives, their families at home.